Good morning. So I am Jennifer and I am a productive prisoner of the Lord this morning. <laughs> the Lord got me going. He got me on one and I'm happy about it. I was thinking about this message, you know, follow God, follow God and how important it is. You know, because we're seeking, we're searching, we're looking for answers. And I don't think that ever stops, you know. We get to the point where we're seeking. And we got to be careful with that. Because we can't rely on our own understanding. We can't rely on our own thoughts because who has access to our thoughts satan <laughs> so we're sitting and putting our attention on our thoughts ruminating on them letting them stir our emotions to where we can feel them in our flesh and it's not long before the body's in motion. And if those thoughts are led by the devil, now we're puppeteers of the devil. So we got to be careful with that. And make sure that we're not leaning on our own understanding in these situations. We got to make sure that we're not leaning on other people other people will lead you anywhere and everywhere. Always oh, such a mistake to rely on other people. Don't you know people can only take you as far as they have gone. If people have not experienced it, if people don't have any understanding of it, if they don't have context for it themselves, how can they lead and guide you in it? And the Lord is leading you in a new thing. Behold, I do a new thing. Do you not perceive it? See, they trying to lead you in the former things. They trying to lead you in the things that make sense for them. You ain't even supposed to be doing the things that make sense for you. <laughs> right? You got to be able to step out on faith and do what God is telling you to do. How are you relying on somebody else's reason, somebody else's intellect when you ain't supposed to be relying on yours? <laughs> so this message is to follow God. You don't need somebody's permission. You don't need somebody's validation. You don't need somebody else's sanity check. You don't need somebody else to come through and scrutinize something and poke holes in it to see if it'll stand. You don't need somebody else's mark on it. What you need is God's instruction. And that's it. If God said it is done, no matter what it looked like, we got to follow God. So we got to know that for ourselves because there are times where we just don't know. We just don't understand. And we're so caught up in our heads that we need, we feel like we need another individual in the physical just to be able to offload. I understand that. I understand that. But let me tell you what you're looking for. Okay, you got a spiritual father. You want a spiritual mother. You know, here on this physical plane, <laughs> here, that you can see. <laughs> I get that. I get that. You got a mentor. You got people to support you. You got a whole team. Good for you. Okay, but what are they telling you? They should always be leading you back to God. They should always be trying to figure out what God is doing with you and helping you to discern what it is that God is telling you. See, on this walk, it's between you or God, you and God, and you got to, while you are bringing things to other people, have that understanding that it's you and God first. It's you and God that are walking down 
this path you and God that are on this journey together and the Lord will bring people to walk with you for a portion of that journey for a portion of that walk but can't nobody do the whole walk with you mm -mm, they can't they come in take a few steps they roll out <laughs> They there, keep you company for a little bit, make sure that you're taking the next step, what have you, <laughs> push you a little bit, motivate you, and then they need to get to going because this thing is between you and Jesus and they going to get in the way because <laughs> then they going to start talking about where they want to go, <laughs> right? They going to slow you down. They going to start wanting to get a say, no, 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 no. So with going down that thought process, it is you are inviting people to, to join you on your walk with Christ as long as God so allows. I'm walking with God. I'm going to let you join for a little bit. But when God say you got to go, you got to go. <laughs> Period. So they should be having that thought process. Like, number one, I got to be invited. Shouldn't nobody be speaking on your life with God and all your decisions and telling you what you should do and what you shouldn't be doing unless they invite it. If you feel like the Lord has brought you somebody, ask the Lord while they talking. Lord, is this somebody you're sending to me? Lord, is this somebody I should be listening to? Lord, what do you want me to do with this? They should know they a visitor. They a guest. They walking with you and the Lord. You and the Lord are already going somewhere. You ever be in the midst of a conversation with somebody and somebody come out of left field and they just blah, 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 blah. And you like, I, I was in the middle of something. <laughs> It was actually getting deep. It was actually getting good. And you just kind of like, boop. <laughs> if you could just, boop, the other way. <laughs> but you don't want to be mean and be rude. So you're just like, yeah, okay. But y'all both kind of know, like, we was just really vibing. So you got to find a good way <laughs> to get C out of the qu equation because it was A and B. <laughs> in a way that isn't rude or mean or, you know, that's considerate, right? And hopefully that's loving. But still, like, <laughs> this is me and Jesus. It's me and Jesus. So you got to know, you, you coming in on invitation. And you should be getting into what me and the Lord are already doing. <laughs> you should be trying to figure out what we got going on and get into that. Not pull me over to what you're doing or what you've always done or what you think is the best plan. Don't try to take us uh, on a different route. Don't try to carve a different path for us. Don't see something glitzy and glamorous and shiny and tell us we need to go that way. No, and start redirecting. No, no. God got it. God got me. He's taking me on a path. Me and him are going somewhere and I'm going to let you join for a little bit. Here's what I mean by that. I had this uh, mentor at a point in time mm. and she would always direct me back to God and she would be like, I don't know why God would do that. I don't understand why God just won't. And she, you could tell she was like really at a loss, but what I would do is I would go back to God and I would ask God this, 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 or that. You know, she wanted to help move me further along in my communication with the Lord. But she was always like, what do you feel like he's telling you to do? Based off of what he does, what he's done before, do you think that are, you know, she would just tell me about, making these difficult decisions with the Lord. And once when you just decide to with, your, with everything that you got to be able to serve the Lord, things become easier. But it was always grounded, always rooted in the Lord. Always, always. 
It was never, well, I think you should, and why don't you, and you need to just, it was like, where is the Lord leading you? Where is the Lord guiding you? With full confidence and assurance, like if I lead her back to the Lord, the Lord going to talk to her. The Lord doing something in your, in your life. You see, when you're talking with individuals, you got to understand that they can only take you as far as they've been and as far as they are and as far as they know. Now, there's some great people that will lead you back to God, <laughs> right? But there are some people that are just locked in who they are. So if some people's faith walk ain't right because they in they flesh, because they serving themselves, because it's all about I, 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 and it's not about what God is doing in their life, then how are they going to guide, mentor, and lead you? What are they going to lead you to do? The same thing that they do? With the same mentality, the same mindset they have? No. People should be leading you to God, leading you back to God, helping you in your relationship with God so that you cannot follow them, but that you could follow God. And they may not mean no harm. See, you looking for people maybe that might be evil, but some people have the best of intentions. They just don't know what they don't know. They just moving and operating in a way in which the Lord hasn't dealt with them on yet. Or they haven't surrendered and allowed the Lord to lead them in. They may not even be aware that that's something that they need to do because God's not at that season with them right now. You got to be careful in this thing. When people start talking about, well, I wouldn't and I shouldn't and why you and blah, 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 and God ain't came up. You got to question that. You got to wonder what that is. If you making moves and they not asking you what God is doing in that. And they think it's all you. So they want to criticize you. You better be careful because the enemy is sowing seeds of doubt and fear and confusion. Yeah, the devil wants you to do what's always been done. He don't want you to break forth and do that new thing God has for you and impact this world <laughs> on a global level. No. Mm -mm. He wants you to stay small. He wants you to stay right here. He wants you to stay in that nine to five and what's always been done and check in on this earth and check out and be done. You got to be careful who you bring in this stuff to. And then Satan and then Satan entered him. You talking to these people that may mean well and may love you. But even that is a danger in and of itself. Even that is a hindrance to what God uh, has for you. Why? Because the people that love you don't want you to suffer. They don't want you to go through hardship. They don't want you to go through persecution. They don't want you to go through trials and tribulations. So they trying to find ways to keep you out of that, to maneuver, have you maneuver around it, to have you dodge it. Why? Because they love you. They don't want to see you hurt. But this is a call to the cross, baby. <laughs> this is a call to pick up your cross and follow God. It ain't comfortable. The way <laughs> is whore. <laughs> ain't many people doing it, but you keep going to the many. Few people find the way. The road is narrow, it's hard, few are on it. But you keep going to the many thinking that they can guide you in a space that the Lord has already said, few are doing it. Few. Few is like three. <laughs> few is little. 
It's little, but you go into the many. They don't even understand what you're talking about. <laughs> you want to tell somebody you'd be better off not. You'd be better off just keeping it between me and you and the Lord. You better go get you a journal and write them thoughts down. <laughs> somebody have you committed. We just got to be careful. And I love this message like follow God. You don't know what to do. You're uncertain. Well, that could be the Lord telling you to be still and know that I am God. That don't mean go follow after somebody else. That don't mean to go ask 15 million people. That don't mean even to ask God for 15 million confirmations and, uh, you know, 14 million signs. He don't gave you three of them already. Okay? You wasting time asking for signs. <laughs> you wasting time talking. You need to be following. You need to be doing. You ever have somebody that just sit there and just you trying to explain something to them? Like you trying to train them on a job or you trying to do something with them? And they just keep stopping and asking so many questions. Or you just want to have a good conversation with somebody and you just want to get it out. And they just keep stopping and they keep interrupting to where you just give up. You like, well, I guess I ain't going to be able to get out what I want to get out. Let's talk about you. Because <laughs> that's apparently what's happening here. You want to talk about you. Let me serve you today with your conversation, which is a beautiful thing to be able to serve people through conversation. Let me let you be heard. Let me listen to you because it's futile for me to tell you about me because <laughs> I can't get it out. <laughs> Right? It's just, you know, we all just want to be loved and want to be heard. So sometimes we just got to, we just got to throw the, in the white flag and just say, okay, it's, it's time for you to be heard. But I feel like sometimes the Lord is the same way. Like we got to move. We got to go. We got stuff to do. And you keep stopping. You keep hesitating. You keep wanting all these signs. You, you're not in my flow. You don't trust me. Like, just go. Know that I'm a course correct as we go along. But you heard me say it. Now go do it. <laughs> go follow God. Actually, go. <laughs> to follow God, you got to go. You got to get in route. You got to move. You can't follow God sitting still. You can't follow God sitting here just talking, conversating. You can't follow God just sitting here and thinking about things. <laughs> you need to go. Go. Again. <laughs> Moses is crying out to God with Pharaoh chasing him. He's like, why are you crying out to me? Go raise your staff. Go part the sea. Go tell the Israelites to go. What you doing? You asking 15 million people for their opinions. You don't ask your husband, your wife, 15 different ways. They tired of it. They sick of it. <laughs> if they ain't told you yet, I'm going to tell you. You don't talk to them about this every day, stressed out. They sick of it. <laughs> they got stuff to do. They got their own journey. <laughs> they got their own things they got to work through. They need you to move. <laughs> Look, they telling you, your best friend, your people, that you go to they telling you why you crying out to me go <laughs> we just got to be careful to make sure when it's all said and done that we are following God not other people but God not even leaning on to our own understanding and following our own way to do things right but that we're following God, that we're actually in route, we're moving in the things that God has called us to do. Honey, this journey is between you and God and you and God alone. If you feel like you need to reach out to somebody, some flesh and blood, you need to reach out to, you know, an actual person, choose wisely choose godly counsel choose somebody that's following after god the same way you are desiring to see you may be resistant you may be struggling right to fully surrender to god 
to do the hard things that God is asking you to do, to walk out on faith when it don't make sense, when you don't have the resources, when you don't even have the full understanding, but the Lord is just telling you to go and you're struggling in that. If that is your situation and you feel like you wanna invite somebody else into that, make sure they're doing it. Make sure that's how they're living. Make sure they're surrendered to God. Make sure they've given their whole life to God. Make sure they're a person that makes the hard decisions. Make sure they're a person that is walking in faith, that you've seen them make big faith moves and you're asking them from their experience, how is it that you did it? What is it? that they see that maybe you're doing that you're not picking up on that you need to do what is it that helped them you asking people that ain't even christian they not even saved on what god is doing why are you asking somebody that's not even saved about god's business with you keep them out of god's business because they don't understand, they don't know. Get you a journal, you'll better it off. All they're going to do is insert confusion in this situation. Because their heart may be in the right place, they may want to help you, but they don't have the understanding to give you. They don't have the relationship with God so that they can guide you in your relationship with God. Why? Because they don't have one. <laughs> but ain't that crazy? That's what we do. We just finding anybody. <laughs> we finding anybody that'll listen. We see compassion in the Walmart greeter. We want to sit with him and talk to him and ask some questions. <laughs> Oh, because it get hard sometimes, don't it? But be careful and use discernment. People real quick to write you a prescription and tell you not to follow uh, the prescription God has given you or tell you not to follow the prescription of man, the prescription of this world, but they'll write you one up real quick. Oh, don't follow them, but follow me. You ever meet somebody that got a full plan for your life? You need to do this. Then you, what you need to do is you should, you just got to, they got your life all mapped out. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> God already got a plan for me. I don't need yours. I appreciate it. But then again, it's not their fault. It's my fault because I put you in a situation where you feel like you can speak on my life in that way, where you feel like apparently I needed a plan. So you don't realize it. You might be mad at somebody else for thinking that they know you, thinking that they could tell you everything, thinking that they can, you know, just lay out this whole plan for you and tell you what to do. But you need to look at yourself in that moment and you need to ask yourself, what is it that you put off that made that person think that you didn't know? You not coming up, I'm telling you, <laughs> ain't nobody today, ain't nobody today coming to me, giving me no plans. <laughs> Ain't nobody providing me no direction. Ain't nobody telling me what I should be doing, what I need to be doing. Ain't nobody doing that. Because I'm not operating and moving in this world as somebody in need of that. Nah, God got me. That's between me and God. And if somebody do, I'm going to bring that to God to see if that's the direction that God want me to go in. Because he's led me to that individual. And in following what that person has told me to do, I'm following God. It's his way of leading. I don't care who it is. Is it a mom? Is it a dad? Is it a husband? Is it a wife? Well-meaning they may be. But when they get to crossing that line of interfering with what God has told you to do, when they are getting you to move in opposition to what God has for you, when you can see that they are not bent on having you 
at whatever cost seeking and following after God you need to bring that before the Lord and ask him for strategy on how to deal with that situation yeah he'll walk you through it he'll let you know again that's following God because you don't need to be you don't need to be divorcing and breaking up and excommunicating people and moving out your house if you're young you know and I can't and my mom she just don't understand me and God you just no I'm not telling you to do that what I am telling you is use wisdom and bring that wisdom bring that discernment right you've discerned something's off something's not right use that wisdom hey you know what they not leading me in the things of God they not leading me to God Take that before the Lord. Let the Lord direct your steps on what you need to do about that situation. He'll give you the strategy for it. Do we see? What are the concepts here today? It's me and God on this journey together. We got somewhere we have to go. I am required for this journey no one else is I am I have to stay on this journey if someone else wants to come along they need to be invited or I need to know that they are sent from the Lord and they only get to walk with us where we are already in route to they get to accompany us they don't get to redirect they don't get input they don't get their opinions taken into consideration no this is the way we go and if you want to go with us this way for a little bit you're more than welcome to but then there's going to be a certain time where hey i'm gonna have to say goodbye because it's gonna have to be just me and jesus ain't nobody ever meant to walk with you the whole walk it's impossible i don't care how close they are to you there's some things that you just gonna have to do with you and jesus and you just gonna have to be okay with that follow God in all that you do you ain't have to seek the world you ain't got to sit out there and strategize and make up no plan go to the feet of the father and ask him what he wants you to do he got an answer for you and it's the right one talk soon bye